Here we are, this is Bill Garrett. He's a Brush Shark customer. He's been nice enough to let us do some demos and clear land on his property and he bought a six foot Brush Shark. Let's talk to Bill. Bill, how long have you had your Brush Shark? I my Brush Shark a little over a year ago and uh, cleared probably 50, 60 acres total with it here and our other place. And, uh, it saved my wife a lot of work. I can get close to these oak trees without damaging them and she didn't have to snip as much this way. What uh, what size material are you cutting with your brush shark, Bill? Cut uh, probably mostly three inch uh, down. Uh, we got into some uh, six inch mesquite. Uh, that for that. And then some of the bushy stuff is kind of hard to tell. They're jagged, but uh, they can get up to 12, 15 inches on those. What what machine do you run it on? I run it on a Bobcat 220. Tires or tracks? Uh, on tires. Tires. Uh, and Quite frankly, and that saves a lot on the tires, but we used to push them out, we kind of tear up the tires grinding on the rocks. And this is actually safe wear and tear on our tires. Uh, how have you found maintaining the brush shark? Real simple. We do a little simple maintenance on it, cleaning it, and we've actually found by using old uh, like motor oil it lubricates it a lot easier and better than when we're using the Zerk fittings. Okay. Um, what, where are we at here? Is this Kendall County? This is Kendall County off of Sattler Road. Uh, so family ranch has been in the family since 1901. How were you clearing your cedars and agarita and uh, persimmon out here before you bought the brush shark? We were actually using a tooth bucket to try to push them out and a chainsaw. Uh, neither one of those really worked real well. It got the job done, but the brush shark has just speeded the process so much more. And how long did it take you to get comfortable using the brush shark? I got on it and really tried to hit it hard for about two days. I got a feel for it. It's getting your hand synchronized with the blade and using your ears, everything, it just works real well. About two days, you should be able to do real good. Are you, a, are you a Bobcat operator or you consider yourself a weekend warrior? I guess I consider myself a weekend warrior now. We're retired, so this is kind of the things we like to do, work on the ranch, clear brush, and take care of our cattle. So if you had your choice between air-conditioned and non-air-conditioned Bobcat, what would you go with? Mine's air-conditioned. <laughs> <laughs>